The agency opened its doors in 1983 on Finn Feather Road. Before that, there was no animal housing in Bryan College Station. There were officers, but there wasn't any real place that took them and had adoption programs. The community came together in the late 70s, early 80s to found the Brazos Animal Shelter. As a, a nonprofit agency that had government contracts with the City of College Station, the City of Bryan, and the Sheriff's Department, they would also take in any owner surrenders or any, any out of county animals at any point in time, regardless of space. Um, and that was the business model um, up until 2011. In 2000. 12, the name changed to Aggie Land Humane Society and we did a complete rebranding of the organization. We were looking at a fresh start. We changed, like I said, some of our business models, um, new location, a time to brand ourselves to Aggie Land in the heart of uh, this area, which really, really is Aggie Land and everything it stands for. We provide shelter for them, we feed them, we make sure they get plenty of exercise, they have clean beds, clean home, or you know, clean water, um, and we try to work with them if they are showing, you know, not perfect dog behavior. We try to work with them to make them more social and more either outgoing or calm down to make them just a little bit more adoptable. Pet overpopulation is greater here and there's definitely a need to um, have those animals rehomed and whether that is in this community or in other communities to find them homes where they are wanted and, and can be loved. Volunteers are really a backbone of our agency when it comes to getting the dogs out in that socialization because, you know, they might see us and we are a resource provider because we are providing them food and a clean place to live, but then they also get that interaction with the volunteer. Um, so that helps their socialization, that keeps them mentally sane. They do everything from uh, photography, events, social media, cleaning the kennels, walking dogs, um, working um, our info booths when we have events where we're just promoting the organization. They foster, um, so there's an array of things. If someone has a skill and they think that they can um, use it to help promote the shelter and help the homeless pets in the community, we'll definitely find a way to put it to use. This is my first day and I really like dogs. We have one at our house and well, I walked this dog named Crystal and she was very kind. <laughs> Ruth wouldn't tell you this, but she earned the uh, volunteer, Junior Volunteer of the Year Award this last year because she had fostered, what, 18 cats? 19. 19 cats over the last year? Oh, my 20th. Year. Yeah. Most of the time when we're putting animals into foster care, we're putting them into foster because they need um, grow time, because they're too young to be adopted out. Maybe they are trying to get over a medical condition, need some additional socialization, um, various reasons that often, if they weren't put into foster, they would not be available for adoption. Um, and a lot of times their only other option if foster wasn't available would be euthanasia. So we save countless lives through the foster care program. Our mobile adoption events are big successes. Um, our last Sterling Subaru event, we had 28 animals adopted. The one prior to that, we had 39 animals adopted. So I'd say that they went very well. Pet free adoptions, it, for whatever reason, you know, the, well, the word free gets a lot of people <laughs> excited about something. So it does help our adoptions. Um, we've looked at the return rates afterward. We have not seen any increases in returns after those events. And um, they have, they've maintained in their homes and some of those families then come back and actually adopt a pet. Or, you know, they may have just had such a good experience, then they come in and volunteer or give back in some other way, maybe donate as well. So you never know how that person may have been impacted simply through a free adoption. I just like how everybody who does work here, you can just tell that they do have a passion for the animals. You can tell just like they care about what happens to every single animal. Like usually by the second day here, everybody knows like the second day an animal comes in, they know how they act, how their temperament is, and you can just tell like everybody's here to help the animals themselves, like help them get adopted, help them find new homes, and we just all work together to do that as a team. Like with Bailey and the Volunteer Center and Carrie getting fosters out and all of us in the kennels, we just like work like a well-oiled machine to get everybody where they need to go.
it has given me what I feel is a purpose in life. Um, my mom will say, well, you know, you were looking for a job that you wanted to give back. And I have found that job that gives back.